With the General Data Protection Regulations coming into force on May 25th, we have added the ability for you to delete certain records within Expert Agent to help you to be compliant. There are two places within configuration that you will need to check for the new deletion update. Data retention under business configuration allows you to set the number of years worth of financial transactions to look for when deciding whether or not a record can be deleted. It's up to you what you select in here. We've also given you a tick box to allow you to decide if you want to prevent bulk deletion of vendors who have sold a property within the last five years. Then there's the usual tick box to apply these settings to your group if you are the head office for a multi-branch firm. Clicking into agency staff, you need to think about individual members of your team and what permissions they should have. Under the Advanced tab, you'll see a permission allowing to bulk update consent and one to delete records. Choose appropriately for every member of staff in your office. Let's think now about actually deleting records, starting with applicants. If you want to delete an individual applicant, you need to do so from their applicant record via the right-click action menu. Hover over Data Management and select Delete Applicant. You'll see a pop-up here asking if you are sure you want to delete that applicant and reminding you that the applicant will not be deleted if they are linked to any accounting transactions that fall within the accounting retention period which you set in configuration. You need to ensure you have considered any other reasons which may mean you should not delete this applicant. Once you're certain you wish to delete this applicant, tick the box at the bottom and click Submit. You'll see a green flash at the bottom confirming your deletion request has been submitted. You can also delete applicants in bulk from a filtered grid. Consider which filters you would like to apply, and when you're seeing a list of just those applicants you would like to delete, right-click, hover over Data Management, and select Delete Applicant. Again, you need to read through the information on screen, which details criteria which will prevent records from being deleted. Ensure you have personally considered any other reasons that any of these records should be kept. When you're certain that you want to proceed, tick the box at the bottom and click Submit. You'll see a green flash at the bottom confirming your deletion request has been submitted. To manage those records you have scheduled for deletion, you'll see a new option as you hover over Tools in the top menu. From the Deletion Management window, you can see a list of all records you have queued for deletion and filter the results for a specific branch if you're part of a multi-branch firm. If you need to cancel either all of your deletions or just one individual record, tick the appropriate boxes and click the button here to cancel those deletions. Once you've confirmed the cancellation, you'll see that record is removed from your pending deletions list. Deletions run overnight, so be sure to check here before the end of each day. When you come in in the morning, you'll see a message from us letting you know that there is an update to your deletion requests. Clicking back into deletions, jump to the failed deletions tab where you'll see any records that could not be deleted and the reason that the deletion failed. Any records which failed deletion will have remained in your database, so all you need to do is search for the individual record and either resolve the reason for the failure and queue it for deletion again, or take no action and the record will remain in your database. When you have decided what to do with each record, tick the box and click to acknowledge failed deletions. You will not be able to re-queue a record for deletion when it remains in the failed deletions list. Records will only be displayed in the failed deletions list for seven days. To delete vendor information from your sales properties, it's a very similar process. Starting from the property record, right click and hover over data management and you'll see you have the options to delete vendor one, vendor two, or both vendors together. Make the appropriate choice on the drop down and you'll see a pop up asking you to confirm that you have manually checked that you have no obligation to keep this record. Also, consider if you need to remove any extra data fields if you've used those to store personal information. If you do need them removed, tick this box and then tick to confirm and click to submit the deletion. To delete vendor information in bulk, start from a filtered property grid. 
Filter your grid so that you're seeing just those properties where you would like to delete vendor details, then right click for the action menu, hover over data management and click delete vendors. Records will not be deleted if you've set your configuration to prevent deletion of properties that have sold within the last five years, or if the property is for sale. Consider if you need to delete extra data options and then tick the box to confirm and click submit. Again, you get that flash at the bottom confirming those records have been added to your pending deletions list. When you come in the following day, looking at your properties grid, you'll see that the vendor's information has been redacted so that it is replaced with asterisks. When you open a specific property record and jump to the vendors tab, you'll see the asterisks again in the vendors fields to confirm that you did once have information, but it has since been deleted. To delete a landlord's information, you need to be on the landlord record itself. Either access this via one of their property records or by searching directly for the landlord record. Once you're on their record, right click, hover over data management and select delete landlord. Again, landlords who are linked to accounting records that fall within the data retention period you set in configuration will fail deletion. You must consider if there is any other reason why you should not delete this record. Then tick to confirm and click submit. You'll see a flash at the bottom confirming those records have been added to your pending deletions list. To delete landlords in bulk, start from the landlord grid and filter the grid to show just those landlords you're looking to remove. Right click to launch the action menu, hover over data management and select delete landlords. There are several reasons listed as to why a landlord's deletion would fail, but you yourself must also consider if there is any further reason that you should keep any of the selected records. When you are ready to proceed, tick the box at the bottom and click submit. You've got that flash there at the bottom to confirm that these records have been added to your pending deletions list. Contacts cannot be deleted in bulk. On a contact grid, if you right click, you can see there's no option to delete from this action menu. Instead, open a specific contact record, right click, and you'll see the data management option to hover over, then click to delete the contact. The pop-up reminds you that contacts cannot be removed if they are linked to accounting transactions within your accounting retention period. When you're certain there is no other reason that you should retain the contact record, Click the box at the bottom and click Submit. You'll see a flash at the bottom confirming that record has been added to your pending deletions list. Make sure that you're keeping an eye on your alerts in Expert Agent so that you know of any future releases.